Hey friend, welcome. I'm Jen. I'm a part-time online clothing reseller and that just means I go to thrift stores, I buy used clothes, I list them on eBay and Poshmark and I sell them for a profit. Uh, today is Thursday, July 4th. So usually I do a ship with me video. I package up everything that I sold the prior day and I share with you what it is, what it sold for, how much I made off of it. But there's no mail today. So um, I'll be shipping later on, uh, but I did wanna talk about my June numbers. Uh, I have done this a couple months in a row, and I think it's really important to kind of, I don't know, I just wanna be transparent and share with you. I think it is uh, super doable, and this is something that has replaced a part-time job that I loved but stressed me out a lot. I am a stay-at-home mom. I get to stay home with my kids. I get to um, do this from home, which and it's something that I really, really enjoy doing. So in June, I did not work much at all. So um, considering one, it's summer, and numbers do go down in the summer. People are just similarly to me. Uh, they're out, they're on vacation, they're outside more, they're just shopping less online. I know I am personally, uh, so I assume other people are as well. So it was down. Also, I only was home in my own home nine days out of the whole of the whole month of June, nine days. Uh, and that was full days that I was home. Uh, I did not work much. Uh, I did some thrifting a little bit when we were on one trip. I have done some shipping throughout the month. I have done not very much listing. We'll talk about that for sure. Um, so my gross sales for June was $2,657.60. I do this part-time. That is extra income for my family, kind of helps out with extra things that come along with having kids like dance class and piano lessons and soccer fees and things like that. So, um, yeah, my profit. So that takes out uh, platform fees. Uh, eBay, Poshmark, those all take a fee to, uh, you know, you have to pay them. <laughs> they're, they're who is hosting all my items. They take care of state uh, income, not income to sex, sales tax. Woo, sales tax, that's the word. Uh, they do a lot of things for me. So I don't mind those fees. Sometimes I think they get a little high, but overall it's just part of the process. So uh, taking out fees, taking out any shipping costs. So uh, any, I don't think I stopped doing shipping discounts on Poshmark, but all the shipping labels that I had to pay for on eBay. And then my cost of goods. So if I take out what I paid for each individual item, usually it's an average, sometimes it's exact, but my profit comes to $1,525.25. So that's great. But there's more, right? Uh, there are other things that I buy. I had to buy new poly mailers. I have to buy boxes. I have to buy tape. I have to pay for my eBay store, my uh, Vendu, which I use for cross-listing, uh, Prime Lister that I use for Poshmark automation. So it shares for me, it sends out offers for me. Uh, that's what I use for Poshmark. Um, all of these things I have to pay for. I don't think I had many expenses as far as like the shipping supplies. I didn't buy new tape. Uh, I did buy poly mailers, but I used my eBay shipping discount coupon. I just did a video on that if you are interested. Um, but my store subscription, my Vendu subscription, and my Prime Lister subscription are about $150. I also did do minimal, very small amount of uh, thrifting this month. I thrifted a little bit uh, right at the beginning of the month. I went to my favorite thrift store. Um, where else did I go? I thrifted a little bit when I was on vacation. It wasn't really a vacation. I, I was on a trip and I thrifted on that trip. And um, 
My total that I spent this month is $183.73. That's usually more between $400 and $600. So you can tell it's a lot less. I did not uh, thrift much at all. So I listed only 108 items last month in May rather I listed 198 so almost half of what I listed I was trying to list consistently but with just being gone and the way I was gone I was actually without cell service for like five days uh, which is insane a little bit <laughs> uh, but fun uh, there were yeah there were just multiple days that I was doing nothing uh, so I didn't list as many items. I sold 103 items. Listed 108, sold 103. That's actually pretty good. I don't mind that at all. Uh, last month in May, rather, it's July now, so I keep saying the wrong thing. I sold 128 items. So that's only down, what, 25 items, considering just the summer slowdown and considering that I wasn't around much. That's pretty good. My average sale price is also down. So a lot of things down. Uh, in May, it was $27.65, and in June, my average sale price, so the average price that all of my items sold for was $25.80. So that's almost $2. Yeah, almost $2 down. I did sell about 30% on Poshmark, about 70% on eBay. That has been pretty consistent uh, throughout uh, the last few months when I've been keeping track of this. Um, and the profit is kind of right around the same thing. 30% of my profits from Poshmark, 30% or 70% from eBay. I sell mostly tops and or sell mostly clothing rather. I sold a lot of women's tops, a lot of dresses. My top brands uh, were unbranded, which is kind of funny. Um, usually that means um, vintage. Uh, Catherine's is a plus size brand, L.L. Bean, which is an outdoor brand, Chico's, and then Land's End. I believe all of those Land's End items were swimsuits. So let's see. I think I told you all of the information. So in the past, what I've done is kind of a breakdown of what I was paid hourly. Um, and that's kind of a uh, estimation, right, because I'm not clocking in and out that's just I you know I, I work from home who what card am I gonna punch <laughs> uh, but just knowing like I generally spend about uh, an hour on shipping and that includes my videos I um, and that's daily six days a week I then generally spend about two hours it's about an hour and a half daily on um, listing and relisting and you know that I often do while you know, like at night, if we're hanging out as a family and watching a show, that's what I was doing last night. My family was watching a TV show and I was just listing. Um, and then also, you know, I thrift about six hours a week generally. And then I also um, take pictures. That's the other thing I do. Um, so I do have two teenagers that take pictures for me. However, I don't think any either of them took any pictures in June. They were both uh, also very busy <laughs> and gone. One of them is my daughter. One of them is her very good friend. And they were just, they were on the same trips I was on. Um, so I don't think either of them took any pictures for me in June. Um, so anyway, usually I say that I uh, work about 20 to 25 hours a week. I would estimate that this month it was more around 10 hours a week. Uh, not probably all in one week. The days that I was home, I was working a lot more. Obviously the days that I'm gone, I'm not. So uh, my husband did put in some hours for me in shipping. My uh, One of my teenage daughters helped me with that as well. So estimating that I worked about 10 hours a week my uh, hourly wage is $29.79. Now that is all taxable income and I do try to set aside some money for to pay taxes at the end of the year because that is uh, you know something that we have to do. Uh, it is taxable income. I'm not a tax professional by any means but that is something that I'm aware of and um, try to set aside for that. And I 
think that's all that I have. Oh, I know uh, one person asked last month uh, what I made from YouTube. And actually in April, I did start making some money from YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that a ton. It does help my family. In June, I made $325-ish. So not a ton, uh, but definitely something that helps my family and I appreciate it so much. I haven't actually seen any of that money. Uh, there's actually quite a few hoops you have to jump through to actually get paid. Um, so that's been interesting. I, I thought I had finished the process and then I didn't and then there I didn't again. And uh, so anyway, I haven't actually gotten paid from that, but I will eventually. Uh, so it, it seems that all that money does seem to still be like in my little YouTube account. So it's not disappearing. So that's good. Um, so that's not money that I've actually seen, but eventually hopefully will. So, uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I try to be, like I said, really transparent and tell you all of the information that I can possibly think of to share with you. I've filled a little, uh, label actually is what I used um, with all my numbers and stuff. So I think I shared everything, but if I've missed something, let me know in the comments. I will be happy to share it uh, with you in the comments and then hopefully at the end of July, uh, share that in the video as well. Let me know also how June was for you. Do, are you seeing the summer slowdown? Is this something that uh, is affecting you? Um, like I said, I'm really pleased that my sales were not down that much, um, just a little bit. <laughs> so in in um, in May, I made right around uh, two thousand dollars. So fifteen hundred. I I think I'm I'm very pleased with that. So um, yeah, I just keep babbling, don't I? Uh, that's pretty par for the course. <laughs> so make sure you like the video if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, I do ship with me videos basically every day at 8 p.m. Eastern and just kind of share what a uh, part-time reseller sells on a regular basis. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon.